If you've been a subscriber to this channel, you have know that for a while I've been saying that when you delete something off an encrypted device, the chances of recovery are low. And I'm sure you've seen my videos where I show we can, do, we can recover some deleted messages from Android devices, whether it's Android 9, 10 or 11. Still possible. But when it came to images, I've always said there's a remote possibility, but it's very slim chance. Now, if you delete an image, the image is pretty much gone with the encryption keys. It's especially true for file-based encrypted devices such as iPhone or Android, uh, I think 10 and above. I have a whole video on that. I'm going to link it above. Uh, you can watch that uh, if you haven't already. So so that's where I touch on how deletion happens, what happens. I, I dive deep into the whole Android OS and I discuss what's deleted, what's, ke what's kept, how encryption works. If you don't watch that, definitely watch it. But I did say that in some cases you can recover deleted uh, photos. Now I, I only get these cases once in a while because a lot of times I refuse uh, because it's a waste, just a waste of time. Now this case that came in uh, that I'm going to talk about today, that I want to show today, uh, was a little bit different. I, I saw it was a Galaxy S7, which is encrypted with uh, full disk encryption, FDE. There was a small remote chance that we could recover deleted uh, photos. Now, the user did delete these photos by accident, and I saw the gallery on the phone, and it was only a few photos left over. So I said, let's give it a try and see what happens. Now, we got very lucky with this case. It doesn't mean we got lucky with uh, future cases. We just got lucky with this case. I could probably count on one or two hands how many times we got this lucky. Before I go any further, if you're new here, consider subscribing uh, or leaving a comment, liking this video, it, sh it truly helps the channel, but I'm not gonna bore your stuff with that. I think we should jump into the computer now and, and I'm gonna show you exactly what was recovered and what wasn't and what to expect in these kind of situations. So here's the phone in question. So this is Samsung Galaxy S7 and it doesn't matter. It could be something newer, it could be something older, but it could be even up to Galaxy S21. As long as we have root access to the file structure of the file system, we will be able to recover some of the deleted images, but not always. So if we look at the file system here, so to give you a little background on this phone. So this phone, we use uh, Celebrite full file system extraction. This phone was encrypted. Galaxy S7 is encrypted. So we got the entire file structure of the device. We did not root the phone, but the Celebrite does use specific exploits to gain uh, super user access or root access to the device without leaving the device rooted. It's only temp temporary. Once we extract the data, the phone goes back to the way it was. So this user here deleted uh, all the images by accident. And this happens quite often on Android. You try to select one and you delete all of them. I use both iOS and Android as my phones and i've 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 seen it but i just just touch way too many uh, items and you know if you're not paying attention you will delete them so if we look at the uh, media under dcim you can see there's only nine files in this in this folder so that means the user has deleted it. that's all the photos we have obviously i won't be opening them but we can see it's only nine photos so when the user brought his phone i told him well the chances of recovery are super slim and even if we do recover it, it's not going to be something that's, you know, usable for printing. It's, it's okay to view on the screen, but that's as far as it goes. If you want to just uh, have some images so you can look at, this is good enough. If we actually go, go and look at where the images are, there's also tons of images that are hidden on the device. Uh, and like I said, without that uh, root access, without the full file system dump, you will never be able to access these images. Now, it's not always the same location. So on this particular device, it's under sec Android Gallery 3D Cache. As you can see, there are multiple folders here, micro, large, nano, and mini. Some of these will be small. There'll be a lot of duplicates. Uh, I'm gonna have to blur some of these images out, but let's just click on it. We, got, we see 2,644 images. That's, that's a nice number. So um, there are images here. The client already picked up his data. He was very happy with this recovery, as was, as was I, because I was actually blown away. I've been doing this for 10, almost 11 years, and to get this lucky to recover uh, deleted messages is almost um, almost unheard of because a lot of times we get some deleted but not many. I'm blurring this out because this is pri private information, so I'm gonna open images that are not that are not part of um, that don't show anything private. Let's just scroll down here and find an image. Find an image that doesn't show much of the personal information. So you see, this image is very small. Obviously, it, it looks pretty bad, but it it doesn't mean that. Uh, so just because we have that small version of that image, it doesn't mean that there isn't another copy further in. Because if you remember, we had those multiple folders, mini, micro, and all the other ones, right? So if you scroll through images, you will find the same image repeating again. See, it's even a smaller version now. Uh, let's keep going here. I want to find an image that is actually larger. See, here's a perfect example of an image that's actually much larger and is usable. So I don't know what's the... What's the uh, dimensional on that image but this is if you want to view your image on the screen and if you want to just just remember what you had 
this is better than not having any images because uh, we had cases where someone lost all the images of their newborn from the hospital. You can't uh, replace these images. I mean, it's crazy. I would be happy with just that. And the client was extremely, extremely happy with this. So yeah, to summarize, it is possible, as you can see, uh, videos are off uh, uh, off the table. Videos are not possible. I mean, there are some cache videos uh, on the device, but they won't be usable. They might be short snippets. Uh, and you might ask, why are these images here? If you delete your images, why are they here? These images are not from the trash. The person, when he deleted these images, the trash was empty, I checked. Actually, there was Android 8. There was no trash, uh, as far as I remember. But these images are cached images, so Android when you take a photo, this is not just Android, any other device. When you take a photo, as, you, as I mentioned earlier, these images are cached. There are, there are different categorization, categorization happening. There are, there are many different things happening. So there's face detection. There's all kinds of different things that happen on your device that store multiple copies. Apple does it too. If you ever looked at the entire file structure on the Apple device, on iOS device, it is the same situation. There will be a lot of images. You, you take a one photo and there's multiple images. The same thing happens if you edit a photo or a video. Apple actually keeps the original plus the modified version. Not always, but a lot of times they do. Now, if you also look at, if you go into the thumbnail folder, the only thumbnails we have are the ones from the camera. There's nothing of this, of, of the images that I showed here. So yeah, that will be it for this video. It was a short one. There wasn't much else I could say. I mean, I could have recorded the process of, of uh, acquiring the device and dumping the system, but I have tons of these videos already on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, I'm sure you've seen them. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share and like that video. It really helps the channel. I appreciate all each and every one of you. And I'll see you next week.